were dealt a blow yesterday afternoon with the shock scratching of Pru Chevalier who has a strained suspensory ligament and will now leave uh, for home, Perth, on Tuesday. And then shortly before the running of uh, its particular heat, Vanderport, considered to be one of the top chances, the top Victorian horse, was uh, also scratched, a late scratching, because it had bowed a tendon. So it certainly threw open the series, but despite the scratchings of both Pro Chevalier and Vanderport, still excellent racing last night at Mooney Valley. And we'll take a look at the running of the three heats of the Australian Pacing Championship now. And in the first of the heats, Glenn Slender was the favourite at 10 to 9. Then Narden's Castle followed back on the inside by Colt Sievers. Then came Lady Lanero. It's Glen Thunder before the turn, two metres in front. Gay Morrow on the outside trying to get to him from Elliot running on. Then Lady Lanero, Narden's Castle and Colt Sievers with a wheel and Glen Thunder straightened a metre in front of Gay Morrow on the outside in the home straight with about 200 to go. It's Glen Thunder still in front of Gay Morrow. Elliot and Narden's Castle late, but he lets him go. Glen Thunder and he shoots away. He's a very good horse. And Glen Thunder's going to race away and win and win very, very comfortably. About six metres. Elliot, I think, may get second ahead of Gay Moro, then Narden's Castle and on. The Ten to nine and favourite Glen's Thunder and a most impressive win in the first heat from the 100 to one chance Elliot and Gay Moro at seven to four. And Glen's Thunder certainly in great form. He won the Cranbourne Cup, of course, last Monday, and he's won over $100,000 in stakes in the past six weeks. And the way he went last night, I think he'll add to that before the series is finished. In the second heat, very smart Victorian pacer Jack Brandon had suffered an attack of colic last Monday and consequently he was easy in the betting but he was still a favourite at 6-4. to four. Adios Moth got a metre in front of Jack Brandon. He still looks to be going a right and Dejia bye bye pulled out three deep running on. Then locked away here a move from Crystal Glenmar trying to get clear. Further back Springfield Raja not really going well. Then Armbro Gold but they wheel. Jack Brandon race to Adios Moth when they turn. Dejia bye bye coming out to Jack Brandon. Jack Brandon put his head in front with 100 to go. Dejia bye bye coming out after him. Here's Armbro Gold from the Clouds right down the outside with a late run. Jack Brandon in front near the line and Jack Brandon got the money. A metre and a half to Armbro Gold out wide flew home and a head away third. Jack Brandon, the six to four favourite. Armbro Gold second at eight to one and third placing to Crystal Glenmar at 40 to one. So that was the second of the heats. The third heat, race number five on the card. And the popular pick here was the very good Victorian pacer, quite famous in the care of Jimmy O'Sullivan. Of course, this horse performed so well during the Inter-Dominion series earlier this year at Mooney Valley. And he was most unlucky when second behind Glen's Thunder in the Cranman Cup last Monday. He settled down at the tail of the field and made a long sustained run as they came to the bell. And it certainly was an excellent performance to take out the third heat. At the 400 now, it's Panion on the outside and Welcome Frost the rail. They're a metre and a half in front of Quite Famous, starting to wear them down. Then trying to get out as Gosh and pull to the outside when they wheel Toby Dwayne. Into the straight, Welcome Frost kicked again. Got a metre in front of Panion. Quite Famous on the outside and right down the extreme outside, Toby Dwayne. Welcome Frost the leader. Quite Famous, stride by stride, getting to him. On the outside, Quite Famous grabs Welcome Frost from Toby Dwayne and Quite Famous. Quite Famous gets the money, two metres on the line. To welcome Frost ahead, third wide out is Toby Dwayne. He's a very strong pacer, that fellow, quite famous, even money in favourite. Welcome Frost second at 12 to 1, and third was Toby Dwayne at 5 to 1. They were the three divisions from last night, of course, as Bill mentioned earlier. Racing continues at Mooney Valley on Wednesday night with a further round of heats, and then, of course, the big final of the Australian Pacing Championship at Mooney Valley next Saturday night. It's going to be a great night of entertainment. We'll take a break and be back with more in just a moment. Monday night on...